Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Last time we left off, we met everybody in the cafeteria, and we, uh, they all reported on their investigation, and we spent our first night here at the academy. And now it's morning. Let's continue on here. Up. Oh, damn it, it sounds like it's morning. But without windows, I can't be sure. Uh, damn it, fix yourself. Uh, it's always when I came, come back from a, uh, thing, it always messes up. Anyway, what should I do today? Uh, oh, that's just a bunch of ellipses, there you go. Well, for the time being, I'll find my Zono and see if she has any ideas. She did tell me she'd be my sidekick. Alright, to Mizano's room, Mizano's room I go. Having adequately fired myself up, I stepped out of my room. And, well, we can actually move around. So we want to go to Mizano, Mizano's room, but, uh, Ishimaru's right here, so we'll just talk him real quick. Good morning, Eggy! Morning. Ah, morning greetings really are quite splendid. Truly refreshing, a feeling. I look forward to working with you another day. Yeah, I guess it's just how Ishimaru always is. Yeah, always peppy. Uh, real quick, okay, well, see, this is the map right here. Didn't know if I showed you guys this already, but, uh, so yeah, pretty much only shows you areas that we've been in. It kind of tells you where some of the people are, like, um, like, the explanation points show you where you need to go, and, well, the person icon will show you who's where, so, I know it says, like, Ishimaru's near the school zone, so that means he's gonna be pretty much anywhere in the area. But these people, like, you know, Hagakiri is in the, uh, laundry room, and all these three are in the cafeteria. So let's go ahead and talk to them first before I actually go, um, talk to what's, uh, to Meizono. For the hell of it. And it gives us a little time to actually explore some of the new, uh, new stuff around here. So here's a Hagakiri. Ugh, hey there, N N Nags, Nags, whatever you want to say. Morning, what are you up to? This is the laundry room. I'm washing my clothes, dude. Are you feeling alright, Hakakiri? You don't look so good. Nah, I'm just a little tired, dude. Last night I attempted to contact, contact my teachers in the spirit world to ask what was happening. I tried, I, I tried, dude, but in the end, I failed. Go figure, the super duper high school shotman can't even predict the future. Seriously, what the hell, man? Whoa, there's a lot of stuff we can check out here. Uh, let's see, I want to I want to crush a scared camera, but if I do, I'll probably just be crushed myself. All I can do is ignore it. That is true. Don't want to get crushed. Let's see what else we can find here. Swimsuit that has been out, hung out to dry. I wonder whose it is. Hmm. Yep, another coin. That's pretty much why I'm just going to be investigating right now. Just checking out different coins. I can see if I can get any coins. One of the screens that Mon Monokuma uses. Showing the school insignia now. Well, okay. Oh, I can check that. And the rest is probably, probably going to be all the uh, vending machines, or I mean, uh, washers. A vending machine. Help yourself w while doing your laundry, huh? Okay, now this is going to be a little iffy to do, considering there's a lot of stuff in our way. It's a washing machine. This is a laundry room, so that makes sense. Okay, well, yes, it does. Now, I'm sure one of these is probably going to have a coin in it, but... I'm just going to take some time checking it all. Oh, see? Fourth one was a charm. What about the other ones? Nope, I checked that one already. Stop it, stop it game. So yeah, a lot of times I'm probably going to be doing this, and I apologize, but you know, it's just, uh, you know, I just want to be thorough for everything. And, okay, now there's actually this magazine. Nope, okay, magazine right here if I can actually, you know, freaking, oh, if I actually examine it, that'll be great. It's kind of weird how you can, mm. let's see, maybe I can do it like that, there you go. There are magazines here, a way to kill time while you're doing your own laundry. As you notice, that's actually Inoshima's um, face on us, so that's one of her covers. Okay, so that's the laundry room checked out a little bit, so... Uh, Let's go ahead and call it the cafeteria and talk to so many people here. Maybe we can, you know, investigate a little bit in here as well. So who's in here? It should be, um... Kirigiri, uh, Fujisaki, and Tugami. Okay. Yep. Okay, there we go. Ah, Nagi! Good morning! 
Morning, Fujisaki. We're saying good morning, but we can't see through the window, so we don't really know if it's morning or not. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Did I make you uncomfortable? No need to apologize. I'm really sorry. She looks so downtrodden. I feel like I did something terrible. Aw. Anything happening today? Kitty kitty. Good morning. Good morning. If this conversation is going anywhere. Um, do you need something? Uh, no, not particularly. I see. And she just left. She walked away. Kitty kitty. I can never tell if she's a silent reserve type or just playing it cool. No, seriously. Alright, let's talk to you. Good morning, Tagami. Hmm. Did you not hear me? Tagami, good morning! Once is, is, once is sufficient. Huh? I'm here to have breakfast. I have no need to speak with you. Vanish. So he did hear me. He just didn't respond. Nice. Very nice. Well, let's take a look around here. This is uh, the pantry, right? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a whole lot of food as well. Wait a minute, you can't really, you can't really investigate that much here. The showcase filled a uh, line of ingredients. Under these circumstances, seeing meat makes me tense up all of a sudden. Okay. Did get another coin there. If I can say the same thing here. Yep, okay. Anything else I can examine? Yep, three stuff. A rack of kitchen knives. They, they come in all shapes and sizes. Do you really need so many different knives to cook with? Well, I'm not a chef, so, I, you know, whatever. They even got scary cameras set up in the kitchen? I don't think I could concentrate on cooking knowing Monokuma's watching. And, man, it's a lot of produce. There's a mountain of veggies. Plenty of variety and nutritious to boot, but personally, I prefer sweets. Most people do, I guess. Well, I shouldn't say that. I actually am not a big uh, sweets guy. I mean, here or there, yeah, sure, but you know, I'd rather just have like, a meal, you know. <laughs> so, that's everyone there. Um, let's actually take a look at the map real quick, see if anyone else is around. Oh, no, I guess we can just go to Mizono's room, but first, I want to take a look at some of the other rooms that we can actually go into. Uh, can I actually do this now? Actually, before I go in there, uh, let's see what other rooms I can go into. That's locked. Oh, so I can go in this, right? What, is that the men's or that's the girls' bathroom? Can't go in there. Oh, but here's the men's bathroom, though. And okay, the mirror's the only thing I can look at. Why the hell not? Little fish are swimming around the aquarium. Yeah, that's nice. And I don't think I've ever seen a bathroom with an aquarium in it. Gives you a nice feel to it, I guess. Uh, and now I think uh, we can just, yeah, we can go in here. Alright. Man, look at all the, whoa, what the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, is that, is that the door we just came from? Yeah, okay, no, no, no. Just want to take a look around. The security camera. I sure the thing we're being watched by these things. The rules say we're not allowed to break the cameras. Ah. Uh, it sucks, but what can you do? There's something on the ground here. There's a door in the floor. Right, it won't open. Looks like it's locked. Hmm. Okay. And what the hell's that? There are shutters in the way, so I can't go in. Oh, really? This sucks. Well, can I just press this and I'll be okay? It looks like a switch. I wonder what it's for. So you're not gonna press it? Okay. And on the screens. Okay. So that's all there is in this room. Before I actually go progress the story, I don't think you can go in anyone's room, so I really can't bother checking that out. But uh, I'm going to see if I can go in here and check out the other rooms in the, the first floor. Oh, nope. Okay. All right. Actually, uh, after 10 minutes of just me yeah, messing around, let's finally go to Maisono's room, which is, I think, right next to ours. Yep, here she is. I guess I just push the intercom button and next to the door then? Well, that seems like it's a good idea. Yes? Good morning, Mizono. Ah, oh, Nagi! Perfect timing! Perfect timing. Um, Nagi, I have a favor I'd like to ask you. Okay. 
A favor? I was thinking about heading out, and I was wondering if maybe you would join me? I don't mind. Where are we going? Um, well, I was thinking there might be some kind of weapon here I could use to defend myself. Defend yourself? Whoever trapped us in here, we don't know when they might try to come after us. Whoever trapped us in here, whoever created that rule for murder, whoever constructed this irrational scenario could indeed come after us at any time. That's why, no matter what happens, I want to be able to protect myself. And so, she wants to find a weapon so she can use for self-defense. In that case, I think I saw something that she could use in the display case outside a gym. Outside a gym? Right, let's go! Again? Of course, I'm an Esper. I'm kidding, I just had a feeling, that's all. Are my thoughts patterns are my thought patterns really that simplistic? Anyway, I should I should head to the foyer outside the gym with Maisono. For all of you I have good news, it's not possible for you to cast Malor to teleport from the map screen uh, from your menu. Uh, open the map and select destination. You only be able to teleport to specific landmarks designated on your map. You can't teleport to a floor to get sealed, or that we haven't visited yet. Uh, unable to teleport sometimes. Okay. I encourage you to experiment on oh, over and out. So, yeah. Um, actually, let me just talk to Mizona real quick. Were we gonna go to the hall outside the gym? Yeah, you're right. Hurry up, let's get going. Alright, so, as you open up the map, and you can see, like, yeah, these little squares. Those are usually the places you can, like, teleport to. So, uh, let's... Oh, and here's everyone else. Wait a minute. Yeah, you know what? I do actually don't want to teleport because I do want to investigate a little bit more and I do actually want to talk to some of these people, so... That's why I'm just going to take the long way around and just run there. But if you want, you can simply just teleport there if you want. Just, uh, you know, go right here and, uh, boom. You need, you need to be where you need to be. So, four people are, uh, in this area. Uh, you know, Shima is in the school shop and... Wada and uh, Kuwada are freaking in the entrance hall. Okay, might as well talk to those, talk to them as well. But first, let's see if I can actually go into any of these rooms. Oh, uh, hey, um, Maggie, it's not the way to the uh, gymnasium's outer hall, is it? Ah, right. My bad. My bad. Ah, oh, man, really? She's not gonna let us talk to anyone. Wasn't well, there four people here? Oh, there's three of them. Oh, okay, maybe only access one. I don't, you know, Shima's in here. Oh, look, I can actually uh. Go in here, alright. Whoa, what the hell's all this? Nagi! Ooh, it's just like you and Maisono. You're on a date. You on a date? What? For someone who looks so shy, you sure move quick, Nagi. That's not it. I'm Nagi's sidekick. She denied it so nonchalantly. I kind of... Oof. What? Sidekick? It's not like a new kind of fetish. <laughs> Don't mind me. Not my business if you're into that sort of thing. Well, enjoy yourselves. We should get to the gym in quick. Yes, we should. Oh, she's blushing. Alright, so... Oh, I thought I said Walmart. I'm like, what? Let's see here. A vending machine. Oh, it is a school shop. I, mean, I think a lot of high schools have like some type of shop, you know. No, mine kind of did. Uh, let's see. Yep. Heard about that already. What? Man, it's, it's really cluttered in here, though. School shop? It's like a weird mix of East meets, East meets West. Less, than a, like, less like a school shop, more like a pawn shop. I guess you could say that. What else is there? Uh, something up here. Oh, is that the camera? Ah, uh, yep, indeed it is. And then here's kind of where the coins come in. Right here. What's this? Ah, could it be one of those thingies where you pull, pull the handle and the prize comes out? Um, well, let's read the manual first, and then we'll give it one shot. Surely by now you've managed to collect a few of the small metals sitting around the academy. Yes, I have. These mysterious treasures, coveted by kings and peasants alike, are called Monokuma medals. I thought they were called Mon Monokuma coins. Oh, well. You can see how many uh, medals you have from your electroid menu, whatever. By inserting the Monokuma medals into this machine, you acquire some more prizes. The more Monokuma medals you insert, the more lucky you are to earn a prize you do not have. You can view the prizes you have by obtain by looking at the present section in your electroid. And uh, sure, let's give it a shot. 
So we have 11 coins at our disposal. And the thing is, if you want, you can put in all your medals at once. So you can just put in one at one at a time. The thing is, once you, as you keep using it, like say I'm going to get one right here. What do I get? I have a, I don't know, it's like a phone. Ooh, I'm lucky and I get another one. That is pretty damn lucky. And I get... Pfft, old spaghetti? I don't know. So you see that every time the, the miss rate goes up more and more. Essentially, you need to put in more metals to lower the to lower the miss rate in terms of not getting the same present again. To me, when I did this, I usually just kept putting in one at a time. I got a bunch of presents, and sometimes I get new things here and there. And if I feel like it, I'll lower the miss rate. But you know, whatever. So um, that's that. That's basically all there is to getting the Monokuma medals is simply to get presents. And when we are wondering what all these presents do, well, we'll see a minute. So this is a tumbleweed. That's interesting. And, oh, what if facts? Describe your ideal world over the telephone in a, in a full length novel. Based on these desires, we've learned you via facts. It will be printing for a while. So, that's yeah, interesting. So, yeah, like I say, you might be wondering what the hell do those presents do. We'll get into that, well, soon. But first, let's talk to some of these people here for the hell of it. To think of Kawa would be together with these two, an unbelievable combination. What do you want? Your eyes, they yearn to speak. I was just thinking the three of you made an unusual group. Fukawa, Asahina, and Ugami. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not here with these muscle brains on my own will. Hey, that's not very nice. You were acting like you wanted to be invited yesterday, so I came and got you this morning. I didn't ask for this. Alright, who's that? Isn't that a reference of some... Oh, yeah. Uh, Deus Ex. Human Revolution, I believe. Don't involve me in your muscle brain world any further. And she's gone. Should I go after her? Being any more forceful would be ill-advised. Yeah, I suppose. Like oil and water, it's impossible to run the mix. Okay, whatever. Let's talk to you. Ah, Nagi, Mezono, Born. What are you guys doing, Asahina? Continuing yesterday's investigation. Maybe we'll find something new. If we do, we'll let everyone know. That's awesome. What about you? Hmm. We must find some clues to an escape route. At all costs. So you could partner up with uh, Asahina and Fukawa? Thought it. it was Asahina who invited Fukawa. I would have my, been incapable of speaking with her on my own. Yeah, I can see that. You scared me, lady. And... These two are in here, so let's just might as well talk to them. See if they have any luck. You know, bypassing the door. Highly doubt it, though. Hey, hey, what's the deal with this big metal thing? Man, it's seriously lodged in there. Good. Bah, I can't get crap to do here. I could die of boredom. The worst part is, I can't even chase after my dream in this place. Um, your dream? Yeah, I'm gonna be a musician. Vocals of the century. Can't, can't you see it? I'm so freaking amazing. I can even say that right in front of the country's idol. Well, okay then. Dreams. Mezono? Oh, it's something. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Wada, where are you up to? I came back here to look for a way out again. Need to, need to come up some way to smash this iron door. Yeah, I'll leave that to you two, though. I'm not too good of ideas. In return, leave the execution to me. I'll, sh I'll show you just how much of a man I am. Sounds like a plan. I'm leaving now. And now we can actually go to the gym. So, after all this time of me messing around, I can actually... I'm going the wrong way. I can actually continue on with the story, and I probably could have done this the first, like, three minutes of that video, but, uh... Well, me messing around, I'm already almost up to 20 minutes. I'm kind of an idiot for doing that, but, you know, I'm... Like I said, I, I like exploring a lot of things in this game. There's a lot to investigate, so... Well, here I am. This is a place where you thought there was a weapon I could use to defend myself, right? Indeed, the display case looks promising. And I wonder what it could be, huh? Maybe the sword. Oh, we can actually investigate a little bit more in here. So, obviously we know what we want to uh, inspect, so I'm looking at everything else. There's a helmet. I put this on display here. I don't know. 
Uh, let's see, st stuff up here. There's pl plethora of stuff on the upper shelf, too. Plethora, plethora, I, I don't like that word. It's just another way to say a lot. Technically. It's a uh, high Hanawa? Han Hanawa? I don't, Hanawa? I don't know. Don't these belong in graves? I guess they do. I wouldn't know. Um, there's a golden Buddha. Why would there be? A, I don't know why it'd be in this play case. Why are you asking me? Or why are you asking me? Oh, whatever. A coat of arms. It looks like it's a prize for winning some tournament. And finally, let's go ahead and investigate that. Is that a sword? It actually, looks like a practice sword. Even so, someone's got, got quite the unique taste. The entire thing's been uh, gilded, tilt, tip the hilt. On top of that, yikes, all that was touching. My hand's covered in gold leaf. You're right, you stained your hand. It might be good for self defense, but still. Alright, I I thought it would be better than nothing. Why don't you bring it back with you, Ningi? It might be make for some quirky interior design. Interior design? Well, you want to be careful bringing it back. Maybe wrap it up with some newspaper or something? She's already decided. I'm taking it with me. It doesn't look like there's anything else here that we can be used for self defense. But hey, there's no need to worry. It's not like you'll, you'll need something anytime soon. Anyway, if it comes to that, then I'll... I'll protect you. You'll protect me, Nagi? Thank you very much. If I've got you on my side, Nagi, I don't need a weapon. And Zona laughed as she said that. Seeing her wondrous smile, a smile that could set my, my heart at ease, seeing that smile makes me think I can really do anything. Then we'll go. We'll give up on the weapon search, and since we were here, how about we talk a bit? Um, okay, but how about we talk uh, more in the next episode, guys? Apologize, I'm not really doing much in these episodes, but it'll pick up later. Trust me. Like, right now, it's going to take a little while because I'm investigating a lot of stuff and whatnot, but once we investigated, then it's more like, okay, let's just do what we need to do. So... As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Dangan Rampa. I'll see you guys later.